<laughs> here we go. Yeah. We're in the press box here on hogville.net. That was Alyssa Orange with the Welcome warm back. hands. <laughs> Marty couldn't get the camera on. But anyways, I, yeah. I think we're here to talk about Southern Miss and the Arkansas matchup today. Of course, Southern Miss, you've heard about it. They have the longest losing streak in college football right now, 14 straight games. But they have a brand new coaching staff this year. They are 0-2 <laughs> on the season. But Todd Munkin has come in from Oklahoma State where he was the offensive coordinator. Really done well with this team. But so far, they've had a tough road losing to Texas State and then last week losing to Nebraska. Of course, we have a brand-new coaching staff as well. Brett Bielema and his staff have proven themselves we are 2-0 this season. What we're going to see from Southern Miss is they're a very pass-heavy team. They throw the ball. Honestly, their only rushing yards this season are 42 yards. So you're going to see the ball in the air. That's really going to help our defense because we need the secondary, our cornerbacks, our safeties, to start making turns over to start battling with those receivers because it's things they're going to do next week at Rutgers. They're things they're going to have to do in SEC play. So look for the defense to really try to make some turnovers against this team. Look for Trey Flowers and Chris Smith to do big things against this quarterback. You'll probably see a lot of quarterback hurries and a lot of sacks with this offensive line. Well, you know, last week they had hoped to get some guys in the game that normally don't get to play. Right. Didn't happen. It didn't happen. So it, maybe today's the day, I'm and they probably need so. to give them some time in because there's the the, the opportunities are not going to uh, be as frequent. Down right, the road. And, and I'm hoping so. I mentioned this on our show earlier today. You know, I want to see them really work on the passing game. You know what? We know Alex Collins can run the ball. We know Jonathan Williams, Kiro Small. We know what they can do in the backfield. So let Brandon Allen develop those relationships with his receivers. We know what Javante Herndon can do, but look at the other ones. Let's get the freshman Drew Morgan in there. Let's continue to try to check all of our uh, series. Let's try to get the passing game going so that when or if we need to rely on it later in the season, we know that we can go to it and actually be run smoothly. Instead of always relying on Alex Collins and Jonathan Williams because there are going to be games where we need to get down the field quickly, and that's what passing. It's not going to be with running. So you met country music singer Justin yeah. Moore this morning. Yeah. You helped set that up? I did. It Tell me what, how, how'd that go? It was pretty fun. I tweeted him uh, a couple weeks ago and said, hey, you should come on the Razorback Game Day show. And of course, on my Twitter, I have that I am a Seminole uh, Florida State alum. You had to put said, that in there, yeah. Well, well, it, I didn't put it in there. It's on my Twitter. <laughs> uh, it's on my Twitter, like... <laughs> information and I don't bring that up just to plug it. I bring that up because his reply was only if you take that FSU off of your uh, off of your Twitter page. He's like, I don't do anything with FSU alums, no hogs. <laughs> so that's that was my plug. I did it was part of the story. So you know we did communicate. I talked with his publicist Nikki who was super nice and set it up so he came and hung out at the beginning of the show today. Really nice guy. Love his music. I was jamming out to it yesterday. Mike Irwin was complaining, but I think deep down, you gotta love Justin Moore. You gotta love some country music. So yeah. it's pretty cool to meet him. Yeah. So well, uh, we are ready for an early yeah, morning kickoff. Back. Alyssa goes on the road we're next week to New Jersey. We are. We're flying to yeah. Jersey. Yeah. We're so hang out at Rutgers, but we are 20 minutes away from kickoff right now. I'm projecting a. I'm gonna go 35. 10 ball game today. Okay. 35 All 10 right. is my prediction. So. All right. You heard it here first. I'll give you my prediction. Alyssa is uh, playing my fantasy team oh in, uh, in our fantasy league this week. And she's, she's, she's got a uh, she's got a beat down coming to her as well. So <laughs> I'm gonna the Razorbacks are gonna win today. I'm gonna win in our fantasy league. Right, you're gonna right. have to deal with it. All right, we're coming to you from the press box here on Hogville.net, powered yeah. by the Razorback Nation. The press box is a good requirement.